Hey you guys, it's snowy here today. It's freezing, I'm over the snow. I thought we were done with it. Uh, I think this weekend though, it's supposed to be warm again, but I'm gonna get started on the questions. I hope y'all had a good spring break. If you did have spring break, our kid, we didn't do anything. Leighton on Monday had strep, of course, my family. We're always sick, we catch everything. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, what is a TV series from your high school days you could watch over and over? Oh my God. When I was in high school, it was um, Real World. Um, oh my God. Nick and Jessica, Laguna Beach, Dawson's Creek. Oh, what's another one? It was basically MTV. I loved every show on MTV. I know you said you wouldn't do Big Brother again, but would Jeff? Is my face being covered here? We can move it. Oh, I don't know how this works. Okay, would you <laughs> do Big Brother again? Would I don't think I could leave uh, the show I'm on for a hundred days. I don't think they'd ask me back at, ever. I don't think I could uh, leave that long. You know, I don't I mean? even think you'd want to do it. No, I don't. I'm not interested in Big Brother uh, to do it anymore. You know, it's a young person's game, so they could take it. I would. I would be open to doing another, a different reality show. You know, if the if the time constraint worked. But uh, Big Brother days, I think, are long behind me. What's up? You ended or what? <laughs> So we took, we have a pretty big basement. I think we have a big basement. And we took a section of our basement and just made a studio right here. Jeff built, um, he did all the paneling. I picked the colors and then I painted this wall. Jeff painted this wall and then watch this. It's all about lighting. You know when people, you see people on TV and you're like, wow, they look really good. See how instantly you look better. It's all about uh, once you get good light, I'm missing more lights, but if I have all the lights on, your face looks so much better. And that's uh, on TV. Just to add to this question, see how much better it looks with the lighting. Jeff learned all about lighting from this group of people. This was the best group, best crew from CBS.com. Uh, Jeff learned so much from them. And then here you guys go. Here is Big Brother, that's season 11. That's our cast photo. By the way, if you don't know, that pillow, that's from All Stars. Uh, Big Brother mailed us that pillow. That's why it's there. And then DBL pictures. Jeff has a lot more. But yeah, I normally don't show this type of stuff, but since y'all asked and I'm down here, I'll show you. This is Big Brother 13. This is Amazing Race. Look what I found. We're supposed to, you're supposed to turn this in. I took mine. Then we got a reality award a long time ago. That's just travel. Then this wall over here, this is just Jeff's travels. And he marked everywhere he went. He did this show, it was called Around the World for Free. The guy on the far right is Alex. He's the one that came up with the show. He produces travel shows. And the guy second to the right, that's Joel. He's the camera guy, and Burton is on the far left. He is Alex's business partner. But they hired Jeff for Around the World for Free. They produced Jeff and Jordan Do America when we did that show. So this is just some of the stuff we have hung up. We're a little behind. Okay, I tried to get info for you guys. When I was in L.A. in December for Reindeer Games, I went to a bar with my friend Sabrina and we got drunk and then got an Uber and then went to Lance's house. We just showed up and his assistant was there, Lisa, who I love. And Lance happened to be there and I was asking him, I was like, okay, I need to know, are you guys going on tour? But he didn't give me any info. So I got nothing, but I tried. I did tell him he had to stop in Denver. Um, but my favorite NSYNC song is all of them. Uh, they're just my favorite. I love them over Backstreet Boys. Um, 98 Degrees was my second favorite boy band. Um, but yeah, I'm just as excited as you guys if they do go on tour. Jeff and I used to laugh about this. I'm like, if we were at a bar, we would have never talked. 
because at that time I was 22, Jeff was 31. I thought Jeff was too old. I'm not even Jeff's type. Jeff's type is the opposite of me. And all Jeff's ex-girlfriends look exactly alike. And I'm the only one that has blonde hair. And so no, if we did not go on Big Brother, we probably would have in we were in a bar or somewhere talking jeff and i probably would not be together because i i probably would have been like overlooked him and been like oh he's too old and then he would have been like she's not my type what do i miss most in charlotte well my whole family's still there i actually have to make a trip to go back because my mom's moving out with her husband she's moving to south carolina and I have renters, so I need to, I wasn't ready to sell the house yet, um, but I miss my family, the food, the barbecue, oh my gosh, barbecue doesn't even compare over here, compared to the South, and they have like the vinaigrette dressing, that's what you have to put on your barbecue, it's so good. Um, the food, people, they're so nice. It's like when I go back home, and from living out here, I'm like, oh my God, I could be stranded and somebody would just pull over and be nice and be like, you need help? And just give me a ride. I remember my brother did that in high school. They ran out of gas and him and his friend just got in the car with some strangers and they took them to, his, to their house and helped them get gas and then brought them back to their car. Your friend Alex mentioned on Jeff's anniversary post about Jeff and Jordan do America part two. Okay, first of all, Alex, what were you thinking? Alex was the executive producer of the show. He came up with the idea. Jeff and I, I don't even know what we were thinking. We both got on, not mechanical bulls, real bulls. Google it. You can watch it. And Jeff's bull was so mad. It was probably... 1800 pounds 1500 pounds mine was probably like a 1200 pound bull jeff ripped his bicep he felt it snap i flew off the back of my bull and <laughs> like what the heck were we thinking i've wrestled an alligator i almost got my hand bit because i was goofing off we talk about that on the podcast i want to do like if there's any show i want to do shows where we're helping people my next door neighbor was adopted from korea and every time we get drunk we're like we're gonna come up with the show we're gonna find your birth parents in korea things like that not these bullshit look what i have shows why is jeff only hosting the access show four nights a week instead of five we need him on five to be honest, I have no idea. I don't watch his access show, which the access show on Daily Blast Live, a lot of people don't know about that. I think that one airs in Texas. I could be wrong, but I want to say airs in Texas. It's really good. They're like super funny. It's a more relaxed, not as serious. And um, what's crazy is people will write Jeff's boss, Bert, thank God he's cool that and try to get jeff fired because they don't agree with what he says on daily blast live or they didn't like him when he was on big brother and will try to come after his job so jeff he's not a political analyst he just has to give his opinion on daily blast live and jeff will give his opinion and someone doesn't agree with his political opinion and say he's spreading lies and try to get him fired it's crazy do you watch the current season of The Bachelor? I don't. I stopped watching The Bachelor. I want to say it was after JoJo's season. I haven't watched Big Brother in a couple years. Um, actually, it was funny. A friend of mine was sending me this photo and goes, oh, look who my niece ran into in Nashville. And I was like, who is that? And she was like, that was the winner of Big Brother. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't watch it. And I quit watching Survivor. Um, they're like too predictable. I can't really get into them anymore. I think that's why I like traitors so much because traitors, I felt like people were playing the game and it was an older cast. Um, the I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm just getting older and I just can't get into, I can't get into Big Brother, Survivor, Bachelor anymore. But if you need to show a reality show to watch, watch Traitors is really good. Okay, how to start a podcast, microphone wrecks and all. Okay, I'm going to tag Riley, our producer on our podcast, and um, you can DM her and she can give you some advice of 
what to get because they handle that. We're with Yay Networks and they handle all of that so we don't have to deal with it. Anybody can start a podcast though. Um, I like working with a network because it's just a good, they're just so great and it's just a good team. It's a good fit for us. Um, But DM Riley and like I said, she's really nice. She'll help you. Kelly, I miss you. How is your mom doing? My mom's good. She got married and it's her birthday today and she loves Kelly. Kelly owns Brow Babes. If you need your brows done, she is down in Cherry Creek. I haven't seen her in forever because I hate making appointments and I hate, I have to drive far. Everybody that's good is like all the way down over by Cherry Creek and I hate driving that far. So that is the only reason why I haven't seen Kelly, but I used to be two minutes away from where her business was and it was a lot more convenient. But if you need your brows done, go see Kelly at Brow Babe. She's awesome. I don't really wear my wedding ring. I prefer small and dainty. I'm not flashy. I'm very plain as you guys know. And I like doing my yard work. And when I do my yard work, I don't like getting my rings dirty in the summertime, like with sunscreen and there's gook. I just prefer um, simple. Um, but this ring is my wedding band. And then I have two other rings. One I got after loss and one I got after Layton and I, they all go together and it's just, it just looks like one ring. I think it's really pretty when I notice other women that have the eternity emerald band. I love that. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, for right now, I don't know. I just feel like my hands are always dirty. I just prefer just dainty wedding band. I love Canada. We went to Vancouver. Vancouver was awesome. Edmonton. And there was one other place we went to, and I cannot think of the name of it right now. But the people were so friendly. Um, Everybody was great. It was beautiful. Um, We did a, um, like a sleigh ride at night in Vancouver. That was really cool. But yeah, love Canada. This is what I use for my hair. I have had it since I was 20 years old. It's still going strong. It's, look at all that burnt. Um, but it works great. I have a little bit of wave in my hair, but all of it pretty much is from that curler. I don't know, are you talking about the inheritance? If it's the inheritance, then yes, that did come out already. Okay, for I have a couple Jeff questions and he's actually here. He doesn't go into work till later today. So, what's up? <laughs> how long will Jeff do daily blast if he doesn't do what would he do? Wait, if he doesn't do that, what would he I do? I got it. I got it. Um hopefully daily blast live goes on for a long long time cuz I don't know what I'd do uh if that show got canceled. It'd be trouble in Big Jeff's world. <laughs> For sure. So I didn't want to think about it. So 